Hey, buddy. Um, I think you're in a. Um, I think you're in a bay where you can't get a face on. But um, this is actually plenty. So I actually think your arms are in a pretty good spot. Okay. Um, could you keep working on getting them a little higher? Yeah, but I think I think if you look at the takeaway overall, mate, I think it's really tidy. Um, I'd take your takeaway over mine any day. Um, I go a little out in the way and blech, hate it, right? Anyway, um, I really like your takeaway. I like how the body's moving. Um, one thing I would say, yeah, I, I, mate, there's nothing wrong with that arm plane. Nothing wrong with that arm plane whatsoever. Um, where I would like to take this um, is to talk about how the legs work, okay? I'd like to see the face on actually, but I feel like this one bends a little bit too much, bends forward a bit too much, and this one straightens a bit too much. So if you can, try and feel like you're loading into that trail side, but keeping a little bit of flex <clears throat> in, the trail, in the trail leg. Just a little bit, okay? It's, it's a little locked out for my liking. Now, when it's locked out, we can't really press forward as well as we could if we had a little bit of flex. Think, think about trying to jump from right to left, right? We would need some flex to pressure into the ground and then out of the ground, right? If we're locked, if that, if that right leg is locked, it's pretty hard to jump, all right? So when, we, when we're talking about trying to get our pressure to move, from you know right side to left side, we want a little bit of flex in this trail leg here. Okay, now I've got me on the on on the right hand side here, mate. I I did this drill for someone, and I think it really um, will help you as well. So we've spoken about your right leg and how this works, right? So notice how like it gets on its toe very quickly, and at impact, we really don't have a lot of rotation. Okay, so we we can't see the 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 left glute. The upper body is very, um, I wouldn't call it rotated, right? It's just very under-rotated. And then you can see here that this right leg just kind of swivels on its own and there's this massive gap between your, between your legs, okay? What I also notice, it's very subtle, but I do notice it, is the pressure in your feet. So I'm looking at your, let me remove that, sorry. I'm looking at your lead toe, okay? You stay in that lead toe a lot, right? What we're looking for in a golf swing typically is we, we would load our pressure into the trail heel in the backswing, okay? We would push into the lead toe or, or the ball of the lead foot in the downswing. And then as we start to rotate, we would go into the, um, the lead heel, okay? And you'll see here just on the right, notice when I just do these little movements, notice my feet and where they move, ready? Okay, notice how my, my lead toe is getting up in the air, which means I'm rotating into my lead heel. Okay, and as I finish, you'll see that that there is off the ground, okay? My foot's banked in a little bit, and what you'll actually notice is my knees are what we call kissing together, okay? This will allow me to keep my backside a little bit more, um, you know, for a better word, on the wall, right? Not that we always wanna keep it, on the wall, but I'm doing a better job of keeping, um, you know, keeping that feeling of having my backside on that wall and being able to rotate and still keep it somewhat close to it, okay? So the drill I want you to do, we wanna try and minimize the amount of this right leg kind of pushing out towards the ball and then having, you know, being in no man's land here. Because I think that the right hip, this hip here, hasn't quite gotten around and that's what's causing um, you know, this, this right knee just to kind of be on its own here. So uh, the drill I've got here is I've just got an alignment stick, as you can see. Uh, I think I hit one here too, yeah. So I've got this alignment stick basically in the ground at the angle that is near my knee. Now, I know you're on a range, so you might have to use like a range bucket or something like that and, and, try, and try and get this to work. Um, but you'll see, right, that there's a tiny bit of gap here, just a little bit, enough for me to still move that knee towards the ball ever so slightly. But what I'm really trying to do is have that knee work a little bit more in towards my, my left knee. So as I, as I make a swing here, okay, you'll see me go up. See how my takeaway goes out and away? I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Right, get to the top. 
and then as I start to pressure forward, right, notice how much I've still got some flex in this leg here. So you'll notice like if I draw a line, bit there, bit there, as opposed to yours is, let's say like really locked out here, right? You see that, very locked out. So I've still got some flex, I've got the pressure in my, um, I've got some pressure in my trail heel, okay? Then I'm going to pressure into the lead toe, okay? And then as my right knee kind of starts to turn and kiss my left knee, my pressure goes into my left heel. Okay, you can see that. And then I can basically move on from there. And you'll see my knees are you know, kissing together for a better word. All right, now this stick really gives me a good, um, good reference to really feel like I'm not kicking that knee out and away towards the ball, right? It, it can happen a little bit, but we want to try and keep everything quite close together. Um, I think I hit another one here. I think I go with a fuller swing here. Yeah, so again, if you notice this, right? Get to the top of my swing. Gross swing. Knee kicks in a little bit, but I'm turning into my lead heel right now and my knees start to kiss together at the end, right? There's no, there's no big, um, I guess, you know, it's not on its own like yours is, okay? So I reckon that drill alone will get you to, to pivot a lot better. It'll allow you to rotate the lower body a little bit better. It'll allow you to get into the, the lead heel a lot better through the downswing. And you know, for a better word, not that I'm I'm not a massive advocate for you know taking away early extension because yeah, as you know, you've probably heard a lot. It's actually not a bad thing, but you know, in regards to loading, you do a good job of that, but then you kind of come off that wall, right? And that's just a thrust towards the target, and we, we've never really loaded into the the lead uh, the lead heel in the downswing. Okay, so um, have a have a bit of a try at that drill at home and. Uh, some dry drills before the range and then figure out a way, uh, maybe try and get that alignment stick in a bucket, in one of the range buckets and have it, you know, like I said, knee knee height right about there, right? And that way you can, right now it's going bang straight through it, okay? Hopefully that makes sense, mate.